timer flash seven times. BT system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. Okay. It's Tuesday, a little after 10 a.m. And we are going to do our second duckless install of the day. Well, of the morning, actually. Earlier, we installed a Fujitsu ASU 18 RLB with the AOU 18 RLB single zone in Hewlett. And I really totally forgot to take any video of it. Now we're in Massapequa. Dum, dum, dum. There's Godzilla. Now we're in Massapequa and we're finishing an installation started by others. Let me show you what I'm working with. I'm living on the edge. Do, 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 do. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. Okay. There's the unit. Someone already did the indoor install and for whatever reason they didn't come back so i have five eights and three eights line set already ran i don't know why they picked a square condenser pad so i picked up a rectangular one and to keep it elevated off the ground we put the rectangular mini split condenser pad on top of the square and again, I didn't. Oh, there's the condensate. Godzilla was asking where the condensate was. We're gonna do something with that. So, let's open up our ladder and I'll be working this way, like this. Luckily, I could get to my flare nuts and service valves and no flare nuts <laughs> valves and service ports i'm gonna make a bend on that 5 8 copper with my yellow jacket let's go do that now Godzilla is running the extension cord for our vacuum pump. Almost busted my ass. My sprinkler head, which they say they're capping off. All right. Here's the yellow jacket set to 5 8. There you go. Godzilla, do the honors. We got to feed the people. Special shout out to Peter Smart. Yes, sir. Much love. Yesterday evening's uh, super chat, super like. Donated 50 bucks to the channel. And he also donated $50 to Godzilla. Oh, Very nice. Yeah. Look at that. Godzilla getting paid. I'll buy you lunch. So I'm using the bender. Hey, Godzilla. You can multitask. <laughs> you right. I got two hands. You got two hands. Very, very carefully. Cool. Like that. Pop this out of there. Look at that. Look at that perfect bend. Perfecto. Now we're going to take this. Put that there. And this is going to be brought down like that. Carefully, carefully, carefully. And we'll cut this right here. Godzilla's going to get me the tubing cutter. Let's cut the 5 8 refrigeration line. If you notice, the end is flared with a nut. So fortunately, it wasn't exposed to the atmosphere. We want to minimize the amount of time that the copper is exposed to the atmosphere because you're going to get those non-condensables inside there. You're going to get, you know, just build up of just, you know, crap. Crap. You know? Atmospheric crap. Atmospheric crap. So, there's that. And I'm not going to use that nut. What I am going to use is the nut, the flary nut that comes on the unit. And I'm going to take my crescent wrench. 
pop this off. Look at him, on the edge. Living on the edge, bro. Crazy. Living on the edge. Ooh. I think I ain't scared of heights. Yeah, long drop. Okay. Now, there's my nut. You like my nuts? <laughs> Do you? Saint Mike so commands me right to like my nuts. <laughs> you stick that on there like that. Uh -huh. Or a flaring tool? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you have it? Yeah, right there. Oh, I'm living on the edge, so you gotta. Yeah, it's all good. Flaring tool, also by Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket, not a sponsor of the channel. Maybe one day they yeah. will. They're they smart. If they're smart, they would sponsor the channel. Yeah, get here quick. All right, so there's five eighths. Stick that in there, like that. The little guard is gonna make sure I'm at the proper depth. And we're gonna snap that into place like that. Bam. Slide over the flare mechanism, line it up. On the little groove, tighten this up. And, you know, they do make, you know, you could take a, a drill mm -hmm. adapter there and shove that in there, mm -hmm. and you can use your drill. So if you're doing multiple flares over and over and over again, you can use a drill, like an impact drill, and get that done. And you don't have to worry about overdoing it because, as you notice, you're gonna hear it in a second. There it is, it that? stops, yeah. the little, huh, and then it won't do anything anymore. Now let's open this back up. Like that, and see, no more. Open this up. Slide that down. And take a look at that perfect flare. See that? Pretty. Flare to hold back my nut. <laughs> All right, five eighths is connected. You can see I'm not really working with much here. Living on the edge, by the way. My three eighths line is a little short. So I'm gonna have to beeline it. And I'm not even gonna be able to cut off this flare to use Fujitsu's nuts. Well, technically my nuts. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to use that one. And I have to beeline it. It's gonna have to get, you know what, why don't you get me the pipe stretcher? Yeah, I got your pipe stretcher. <laughs> I fell for that once. You fell for that once, the pipe stretcher. That serious ass face. You should have seen the face you just asked me for that with. <laughs> You're going to Google the pipe stretcher, oh, see what it is. Funny guy, huh? <laughs> what? Do that again? Yeah, 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 ask you for the pipe stretcher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't go, don't go. They have it at Ace Hardware store? Yeah. No, they sell it at Johnstone, actually. Because it's a pipe stretcher, right? Oh, okay. All right, I beelined it. I guess maybe I could have cut this back, but eh, whatever. She's beelined. And we got to do the control wire and then line voltage. In the interim, let me stop living on the edge. Uh, I'm not going that way. That's what it's like. Okay. All right, we're going to hook up our our gauges manifold here and we'll pressure uh, pressurize with nitrogen and then vacuum down all right i got my testo 552 micron gauge hooked up testo 557 i'm just using that so i could suck down the high and low side at the same time you see it's not even on with 7000 and dropping microns i'm gonna let this run i like to get to between two and 300 microns close off the valve and make sure she doesn't get above 500. That's my quick little decay test because I don't have my uh, true blue vacuum tool. Uh, micron gauge, sorry. And, or the, um, the hoses. Left that in the shop. So while she's pumping down, we're gonna take off that front cover there and get the electric done. Went inside to see what wiring configuration they used. And as you can see, nothing's hooked up. So, industry rule of thumb is black, white, red. Black is one, white is two, red is three, and don't forget the ground. And when you're done, don't be one of those guys who's lazy and doesn't put the electrical compartment cover back on. 
You know who I'm talking about. You all have seen it. They're lazy. All right, I tasked Godzilla. We're checking to see if we got voltage at the uh, disconnect right there. What'd you tell me? I said, yeah, we got voltage. What do you got? All right, turn red. No, I'm kidding, not this one. No, you said, what did you have? Yeah, no, 34. 34? Yeah. What is 34? 34 what? Volts. 34 volts. Let's see. Fuck. I swear. Guys. You guys say that, you know, Godzilla is lucky to work for me, but... Obviously, he hasn't been learning what I've been showing him, or he forgot basic electrical knowledge. Let's do that again, Godzilla. And the comments are going to be like, yo, what the fuck, man? You've been working for like for a year, right? right test me. Wait, tell me what you were testing before. All right? Now, I want you to logically think in your brain. You know, you have a big brain because you're a big guy, right? I want you to logically think about what you did wrong and why the fluke multimeter showed 34 volts. Use your brain, Godzilla. Oh, look. I have to tell him to use his brain or for him to use it. <laughs> yep. Oh. I got it. There. 240 volts. But if I sent you here to, you know, wire up something and then, you know, if you couldn't act. Got you right. You know, you, you, you got to use the brain. Again. You got to use that brain of yours. It won't happen again. Okay. On video. I had to get it on video. No, no, I mean, I'm telling you on video. All right. Now we got to uh, wire the line bolt. So let me go back on the edge. <sighs> oh, Godzilla, you know what you could do? I think you can handle this. You're going to take a piece of three-quarter PVC. We're going to see if this will go inside the PVC. And we're going to run the PVC over there to the dirt. So when this thing condenses, it's not dripping down the stairs and, uh, you know, it doesn't look nice. That's what you'll do. And I will connect line voltage from here. All right. Just finished up the wiring. We're at 404 microns, 400 microns. Let's close the valve. And... good okay uh, I guess I can just do that all right not that I need this let's just close that and we're gonna take off the service valve caps and open up the valves your holes Ooh, let the holes out Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. it's interesting 
but the other condenser mm -hmm. used a five millimeter Allen key to open, and this one takes a four. Maybe they got a full gauge. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Why? What am I? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Is it hammering? Why well, put it in the? Um... I don't know. You, you need to. You need a hammer drill to go through cement. No. Oh, so the big one? There's a hammer drill. There's a hammer sign on that thing. Big difference now. Oh, it does be so good. Yeah, 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 it's not bad. You can do it! <laughs> what are you using? Why don't you use the butt of the, 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 the drill to smash the, the battery? Nice drill. Using the battery! That burn. Oh, you got burnt by the bit? Yeah. Friction. Oh, Friction. Good. I ain't no bitch. You sure? Yeah. Not Positive? Yeah, it's not that weak. Cover on. Let's turn the the power on. All right, that's good.
Let's see how we did. Who are you talking to? Oh. <clears throat> now, what I wanted you to do, right, is think about this logically. Today is the learning about logic and using your head, right? The white PVC pipe can still move around now. Right? I wanted you to use the, the, that over that just to hold it in place. So try to loosen that up and, you know, maybe cut back the, the flexible condensate coming out of the back of the unit. Only because I just wanted it to actually reach the dirt. So I left it as long as it was. But, oh. uh, well, I, can, I guess I you, you know, yeah, I guess you can put another yeah, right there. clamp right there. All right. Last but not least, is we have to test the drain. And even though I didn't install the head, still gonna do the right thing. Get some water in there carefully. Get a little bottle. Just pouring water on the evaporator coil. Almost done. Did you find everything you needed in there? Yep. And there's the water. Can't the camera on Godzilla. All right, it is 11.32 in the morning. And you know what time it is, Godzilla. When we're in Massapequa, and we're right down the block, right down the block. we gotta go to, it's time for All-American. That's right. All American. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's happy. And then, uh, by the way, the phone is crack. Okay. And then, two, all American. I love All American. So, we can thank, I forgot his name, in, um, Merrick Man. In Merrick, Merrick Man. We thank us, thank him for the gift. Now, let me show you something. They make the best Gabrielle's. Knishes, and I get a little slice of cheese in there with mustard. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be good on the drive to... We're going to go to Hugh Hefner next. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Playboy. That's where we're going. We're going to go to the Playboy Mansion. Do some Central A tune-ups. All right. Enjoy, guys. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Support the channel by subscribing. That's the best thing you can do. Because by subscribing to the channel... You motivate me to create more content for you. Yep. Because I love you. And you love Mikey Pipes. You love Godzilla. Godzilla loves you. It's a win-win situation. And if you haven't done so already, there's a little bell right down below. Hit that button. Because you're going to get notifications when, A, I premiere a video. Mm -hmm. And like last night... I was engaged in the live chat for the full 19 minutes of the video and 10 minutes prior. Yep. And it was nice. I had a great time. But you'll get notifications when I premiere and also when I post a video to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay tuned. I'll be back. A little encore for the people. If they're still watching. At the end of the video, mm -hmm. a uh, YouTube subscriber sent me this. Let's see what they think. <laughs> 